Yo, what's up guys, welcome to a brand new video and welcome back to the channel. As you can tell from the title today, I'm gonna to be trying to take a pair of used Yeezys and make them look brand new again. I recently picked up a pair of used Yeezy 500 Utility Black. It didn't come in the best condition. If you wanna check out the video, it's the last video on my channel or it's in the description if you wanna check it out. I picked up a pair of used Yeezys for less than retail, which is actually crazy. I got them for a really good price. But they were obviously used, and now I'm going to try and just do like a full restore and make them look as close to brand new as I possibly can. So this right here is the shoe that we're talking about, the Yeezy 500 Utility Black. As you can see, it's more of like a, a brownish gray, and it's not just like a full utility black as it originally was now i don't think it looks too bad i think these do wear really well and these actually even though they are used and you can tell they look used they still look really good but i would just like them to look a bit darker because they are just like more of a, a dark gray than a utility black now so what i'm going to try and do today is do like a full restore like i say do a bunch of different stages bunch of different steps take you all through it and then we'll do like a before and after Hopefully they look a lot better when they're done. And that's pretty much the whole plan for the video. So I'll just show you a quick before. So here's the front of the toe box, as you can see. I'm trying to basically fix that mainly. This is a new buck, and I'm trying to just make that more black. Um, the rest of it's not too bad. There's a few flaws here and there. But this is just a quick before, and then I'll show you guys an after when it's all done. Okay, I'm using a bunch of different products in this video, and I just want to say none of it is sponsored. Absolutely zero of these products are sponsored, so I'm not promoting them or anything for you to go and buy it. It's just products I picked up and I wanted to use to try and restore this shoe. Right, now the first stage before I actually went ahead and did anything to the shoe, I wanted to just do a quick legit check make sure it was 100% good because obviously if it turned out these shoes were fake and I had done all this adjustment to it whatever the company I bought them from would not take them back so I did want to do a quick legit check on them mostly because on the inside of the tag it actually says made from India which I was thrown off by straight away but then I looked at the box it also said made from India so I did a bit of research and it turns out the utility black 500s and the like Muave, I'm gonna pronounce this horribly wrong, but the Muave or something like that, Muave Yeezy 700s, they were also made in India. They're two Yeezys that were actually made in India and not China. So we were all good in that front. And I'll also give you a really good tip to legit check your Yeezys. If you look on the box on the label under the barcode, there's this number which says EANPO hashtag, which is like, I don't know what it actually stands for, but it's a number. And then there's a number after that. So here it says 119891892, which is just a code for the shoe and that's on the box right that's on the label and then on the actual size label in the shoe it should have that same code so here you see it says 119891892 which it does match the label on the box so that is one just really easy surefire way to make sure it is legit because fakes will look over that they won't actually do that and that also proves that this box is with this shoe and it's just you know it's the whole package and that's obviously not like 100 percent gonna work all the time but that is just a quick easy way to do a, a really brief legit check but because i wanted to be certain i did use the check check app and i went through and did a whole legit check process i've done one video about check check before and i did say to just use my code if you want to use it you get a free token and i get a free token and that's basically a free legit check and 10 people had actually used my code so i had 10 tokens just available for free which is Really sick. If you want to use my code, it's in the description below if you want to check it out. I think you just use it when you sign up. But yeah, thank you to everyone that did actually use my referral code. Because like I said, I got 10 checks for free pretty much. It only cost one token to do a 12-hour check. They actually came back within an hour, I'm pretty sure. Is I did a 12-hour service, so they should come back with the result in 12 hours. But it was less than an hour, and they came back with a pass. So they're 100% legit. And then with all that legit checking out the way, we can go ahead and actually do our adjustments to the shoe and actually restore it. Okay, I think I might have to switch up camera angle, maybe go outside or something like that to get this all done. The mic's not gonna sound the same, it's gonna sound a bit different, but yeah, I think I'll go and actually do this all outside rather than be sat here doing it because it's really hard to kind of show what I'm gonna be doing and also, you know, showing you guys. But what I'll actually do is a quick rundown of the steps while we're here. So what I'm first off gonna do is just cut off any excess threads like this excess thread right here. There's just a few loose things like that cut off anything like that with scissors then i got some sneaker wipes i'm going to wipe down all the bits that i possibly can not the new bug not the suede because it will ruin it but you know the bits i can wipe down i'm going to wipe down just get any marks off and then i actually bought this fabric shaver which i've wanted for a long time just to to shave over the new bug and kind of make it look a bit better get rid of all the, the longer strands on it and stuff like that try and just make it a bit smoother and then i also bought this sneaky suede revive thing which i got on amazon i literally got both these off amazon really cheap and then yeah this should be able to use on suede and nubuck and it restores it to its original condition apparently so we'll see how they both go i've spoke for way too long we've not actually even touched the shoe yet so let's go ahead just get into it okay well the plan was to go outside but unfortunately it's raining and you couldn't hear me outside so we are back in here. Hopefully it's all good. Hopefully you can see okay. Um, kind of just hoping for the best because I can't even see the camera. First things first, I'm going to chuck some kitchen roll down because I don't want to put these shoes on the desk. That would be kind of 
disgusting. You can see inside I've just put this shoe tree thing in that shoes come with. This is actually from Jordan 1, but it's just so it has some, some structure while I'm actually cleaning it. Like I say, I hope it's all in focus and you can hear me okay. All that good stuff. I really want to try and produce high quality stuff, but you know, we got we got to work with what we got for now. And one day, trust me, it'll all be high quality production and be incredible stuff. But anyway, first things first, you can see we got these threads like this one right here. I'm just going to go ahead and cut them off because there's no point in having that on the shoe. It kind of just makes it look garbage that will just happen with wear over time if it gets caught on something so i'm gonna go ahead and just cut all those long bits off one thing i did quickly want to say as well is these are actually the 2018 pair it says on the inside label uh it's the 2018 pair not the re-release in 2020 so it shows why there's actually quite a lot of wear it's probably a three-year-old shoe and it's been been worn quite a lot it's not the 2020 remake of the shoe it's actually the original 2018 pair there's not actually many long threads that could have been the only one yeah i think that's it so that's a it's a nice easy step and next up i'm actually going to use these uh sneak defender wipes i don't actually really like this company to be honest they kind of ripped off one of my videos where i used one of their products and used it as their own advert without asking me but regardless i got these wipes for free so i'm going to use them and they're pretty much just these single use wipes they've got a rough side and they've got a smooth side uh, now these shouldn't be used on the new buckle the suede so i'm just going to use it on these outside bits here where there's actually any marks which on this side doesn't really look like there is any um but yeah i'll just use it on the bits where there is the main thing i wanted to use it for was this mark right here there's quite a significant significant mark right there Let's see if we can get it off now like i said these shouldn't be used on the suede right here this is all suede and then this is new work um i did get it just there but it's not the end of the world the reason you don't want to do it is because it it would discolor it um, but we are actually gonna recolor it anyway so it's not the end of the world with what i'm doing but if you are just wiping make sure you don't wipe you know new buck and suede with these kind of sneaker wipes you, you can get them from loads of different companies right that is going to do it for that part and the main two parts pretty much going to be this fabric shaver and the suede revive this is probably going to do the main thing but then this is also i think going to help as well somehow there's a whole thick manual on how to use this thing let's go ahead and give it a go this this probably well, it might be a terrible idea i don't know it might ruin the whole thing but i think it will do the job i want it to do and that's pretty much just get rid of all these like long parts have all been worn out and just kind of make it i don't know like shorter let's try it we'll, we'll see yeah that's actually that actually looks like it's doing exactly what i want it to do i don't know if you can see too well in the camera um but yeah it's actually doing exactly what i wanted so that's that's perfect i'm actually so pleased with how that worked here's like a before and after i guess this is the shoe i've done this is the one i haven't i made sure it's focusing this is the one i haven't done so you can see there's like all these threads just, you know, hanging about everywhere. All these long parts like that. And then this is the one I've just done the fabric shaver on. You can see all those long parts are gone. Uh, pretty much anyway, you know, it's, it's a lot better than it was. And that actually looks like how it would look brand new if it wasn't worn. So yeah, I'm actually so impressed. We actually managed to get all of this fabric off of the shoe. This isn't dust, so don't think this is disgusting. Um, we managed to get all this fabric off of the shoe. All was just on the toe box. I can't believe how much better that already looks. It's kind of unbelievable, especially as like, this is not the intended purpose of this. It's literally for hoodies and stuff, like I, like I told you guys. But I just thought to myself, like, why would it not do that if it does that? And man, it actually worked perfectly. We got all the excess off. And even just doing that, man, it looks 10 times better. Right then, with all that out of the way, I guess it's time to go on to the final stage, which is probably the one that's going to make the biggest difference. Although actually, this isn't the final stage. This is the second last stage, but that is using this sneaky suede revive. It says, shake well before use, apply evenly using the sponge, allows to dry before use. So I guess that means allowed to dry before you wear the shoe. Uh, repeat the process if necessary. All right, make sure it's shaken well. Stop making a noise, so that's a, that's a good sign. 
Right. Let's have a look at what we're rocking with. There is a sponge. Pretty sure it's meant to be black. This is Loki out of date. You guys see that? It says 1802-21. It is now May 21. So let's hope that doesn't impact it too much. W what should happen here then? Do I... Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, it looks like it's a, it's a dab kind of situation. All right, the main thing I'm going to need to do is try and just make sure I get an even distribution across the whole of the, the new bug part. All I'm going to die is the new bug part, by the way, not the not the suede and not the mesh, just the new bug, just so it's like, because this is the main part that's gone like gray. I just want it to be black. Okay, I may be instantly regretting my decision because this definitely looks kind of strange. Hopefully once it's all done, it'll look better. But yeah, that definitely looks a bit weird. Okay, I think in the drier parts, it definitely looks a lot better. It's just in the, uh, when it's wet, it looks a bit extreme. I was getting a bit worried, to be honest. But in the dry parts, it looks good. So I think we should do the whole thing and then we'll come back. Do you know what? I might do the suede. I'm going to do the suede. Why not? Okay, I was low-key instantly regretting my decision while it was all still wet, but now that it's drying, uh, it definitely looks really good. I mean, round here it's all, all still very wet, so take that with a pinch of salt. But for a side-by-side -side comparison, obviously this is the one I've done and this is the one I haven't done yet. The hardest thing is trying to get the even distribution to try and make it all look balanced. But honestly, man, this left one looks so much better. It actually looks like a utility black rather than a utility dark grey. So yeah, I'll definitely take that man. That looks really good. Like I say, the hardest part is getting the even distribution and then like look, around here it's all just still really wet. Um, but when that dries out, I think it will look really good or at least I hope it will. I'll go ahead and do this whole shoe um, and then I'll come back when they're both done and both dry and we'll see what they look like. Okay, I guess this is like a, a nice change of scene. We were outside now, it's a bit too bright, far too bright. But we need to protect the shoe with a water and stain repellent. I'm using the rejuvenator stain repellent today. And yeah, all the all the dye is done and stuff like that. I'll talk about it all when I'm back inside. The shoe is done. Hopefully the wind is okay. But we're basically just outside to, to spray the shoe and do what originally should have been done. And the shoe would look absolutely fine already before the restoring. And uh, do the actual water and stain repellent for the shoe. Okay, so with the spray on, we're just gonna leave that for around 10 minutes then do a second coat. Then that's gonna be pretty much it for the full restoration. Okay, and with the finishing touches of the shoe repellent done, the shoes are here, they're done. And I just wanna say, man, I'm so pleased with how they turned out. And here you go, man. This is what the shoe has ended up looking like. Honestly, I think it looks exponentially better than it did. It literally looks like it from back here. Doesn't that just look like a brand new pair of Yeezy 500 utility black? I'm so gassed. Like, honestly, I'm really, really pleased with how this turned out. And obviously, the main two features are this fabric shaver and the sneaky suede revive. This sneaky suede revive thing, honestly, it's really good. It does its job. It made it all dye black and stuff. However, the application of it was very difficult to try and get it to distribute evenly. And that actually was, yeah, definitely the hardest part of doing this whole restoration. Now, if you see here, if you look close up, there's a couple of marks where... I was trying to dye the suede and it did just get on this, like, I'm not even sure what this is, like, neoprene. I, I, I honestly have no idea what, I don't know why I said that, I don't know what material this is. But it's kind of just dyed it. And if you see close up, like, you can see it, but from afar, you, you can't see that at all. But honestly, man, I think I would rather have these little, little small marks and have the shoe look overall black rather than look overall gray i'm honestly just super pleased man like i say it does have a few flaws here and there with the uh with the dye i think one thing i would try and do is probably i would do the exact same situation but maybe just not situation sorry do, do the exact same process but maybe just get a better version of this rather than just like a cheap one this was literally five pounds maybe get a better version with a with a better thing to apply the actual stuff rather than just like a a massive sponge because like i say it was quite difficult to actually try and apply it to the shoe but in the places where it did apply it did a really good job and i think the shoe looks great now for the sake of before and after here you go it does look a bit patchy but i think that's just with the with the grain of the suede it will um but then once you wear it a bit more 
it would be better. This should be waterproof now. I've put the spray on it. So I think it won't do the same thing that it did before where it all got completely beat and all of this new work was just destroyed. The water repellent should just like actually stop all of that. So I think these are going to be in a good condition for a long time. And man, looking at these in the camera, they just look so good. I'm so gassed. Right, I will check them on feet to show you guys what they look like now. I'll even put on the same sweatpants that I did before and I'll give you like a side by side so you can see what it looks like compared from then to now. Okay, and with that done, we're completely done with the video, completely done with the restoration. Like I say, man, so pleased with this, I really can't express how pleased I am with this. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyway, what you think of the restoration, how well I did. I think I raised it from like a like a 6 out of 10 to probably a 8 out of 10, maybe more, 8.5 out of 10. Even a 9 out of 10, maybe. I'll give myself a I'll give myself an 8.5 out of 10. Um as far as condition of this shoe now. But yeah, let me know what you would give this out of 10 now as far as the condition goes. Um, and leave a like on the video before you go. If you haven't already, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. That's gonna do it for me, man. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.